it is definitely a rude awakening for Giovanni van Bronckhorst, yep. isn't it? He it's knows what he's in now. He's alive enough. I mean, look, this is a long way from being anywhere near over. I mean, they've got to play each other again. I mean, Rangers have got a difficult game following this against Hearts because Hearts aren't in bad nick. Mm. So there is an opportunity for Celtic to put their foot down. And if, if Rangers were to slip up again um, this week against Hearts and not get a result or a draw and, and Celtic were to win again, then you find yourself in a situation where the roles have been reversed. One point at one moment, uh, Rangers are four points clear, now Celtic. But this is nowhere near done. What we've got is the dismantling of the silly arguments that were put forward by people that were ridiculing Celtic about this appointment. Because there was a ridicule factor, there was a, a and who, and it did come from some of the Celtic fans as, as well. It did. About Poster Coglu. It did. Can you understand that? Well, yes and no, but I mean, you know, you've got to give people that their head. I mean, people of some sort of substance were looking at him saying, this guy's, this guy's pretty good, wait and see. Okay, the, the list of clubs he's managed and the, and, and the environments he's been in, well, they don't tick all the boxes. But let's wait and see. Let's have a good look. And I spoke about the Antipodean character and the attitude. Not all of them, but on the whole, mm. you know, you get you get a very shoulders back, chest out sort of mentality. Yeah, yeah. And and so it's proven. I I felt at the beginning of his tenure, I don't think he knew what he'd walked into. But like real leaders, I think they adjust pretty quickly. And I think when he first walked through the door, I thought there was a couple of interviews he did when Celtic hadn't hit their straps, where he looked a little bit. Mm, okay, you don't look like I thought you would look. But now the, the juice is starting to flow. He's getting good players in there. He's getting a good balance in his squad and he's getting a tune out of them. He's whistling the tune and the players are humming it. Yeah. So you've got this mentality yeah. and that's a hell of a result. Got to build from it now. They've that's got right. to build that's and right. keep on pushing. And the yeah. atmosphere, you just saw the atmosphere. <clears throat> I know there's observations about ball boys that are goading goalkeepers and all that sort of oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But that's irrelevant. <laughs> that goes on in games. You know, this is not, not ideal. But the atmosphere, and I'm, I imagine your mate Rod would have been jumping oh, last night it. and Trevor probably the same because the atmosphere would have been at, from what coming out of the television yeah. the atmosphere was phenomenal oh, well I mean in actual fact we haven't heard from uh, mm. Trevor Sinclair I think one Missing of the boys was trying to get in touch yeah I think he's probably still wandering around Kerry Dale Street um, there's Ferris Jim I've got to say I haven't watched an old firm match in years Oh, talk about entertainment. I was thoroughly entertained last night. This was a great advert for Scottish football. It was. It was unbelievable. Not if you're a Rangers supporter, it wasn't, I'm sure. But uh, Celtic were absolutely magnificent. The support last night was unreal. Um, as they always are, they're so passionate Celtic fans, mm -hmm. as are Rangers fans in that fixture. Again, I emphasise, Rangers fans should have been there. Oh, absolutely. One of these clubs. I mean, and, and actually, the SPFL, if you look at the SPFL rules, it is actually their gift to enforce these obligations upon attendances. So I yeah. don't quite understand why they aren't in the cart. I don't yes. understand why the SPFL uh, and the authorities aren't suggesting that this is not a choice that the clubs have. This is an obligation under the Scottish rules for playing games that you must provide an away facility for fans and a percentage of the of the of the overall attendance. So mm. I don't understand why they're just allowing yep. this stupid, banal, childish Mexican standoff of people not being prepared to let the other team's fans come in because allegedly Rangers wanted to sell it to their season ticket holders allegedly Celtic were taking the mickey out of them because they kept winning there every single year so what this Get is about sorted. this is about the better and bigger picture for Scottish football Absolutely. those two clubs are you know whether we like it whether Hearts like it or Aberdeen like it these two clubs are the poster boys for Scottish football. They need to pull their socks up and get their act together. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, one thing's for sure, Aaron Ramsey, uh, watching on, must have thought, aye, aye, this is quite an atmosphere. He's probably been to an old firm game before, I'm yeah. quite sure. But uh, last night shows just how special uh, that occasion is. Postacoglu, does it give more weight, Simon, to left-field appointments? Um, yeah, well, yes, it does, because ultimately there are many left-field appointments that come out and people have a, an attitude and outlook and a disposition of criticising things because they don't like the track record of somebody or they're not quite across the yeah. facts of it. Yeah. Both players and managers. You know, there is a conventional set of thinking and often it, is t it tends to be right. But this guy coming into... If, if you were putting him into the English Premier League and asking him to manage one of the elite side in the English Premier League, I'd say there are more questions to be asked and answered. And this is not disrespectful to Celtic and Rangers. Mm. But given the level of that league... And given the expectations, you've got to get the balance right between someone that's had the prerequisite experience, got the prerequisite track record, right. and someone that's got the ability to break out of maybe a smaller faction and get into the bigger world. So, you know, from from the point of view of currently, currently he's got he's he's got the juice. Yeah. If he wins the league, uh, uh, then everyone will have a very, very very different vantage point, and all the naysayers at the beginning of the season can sit there and eat their shorts, can't they? <laughs> 
<laughs> Eat your shorts. I like that. Bart Simpson. So as Celtic won it and won it well, three nil going on, maybe eight nine nil. I mean, honestly, last night had it not been for Alan McGregor and Rangers' goal, it might have got embarrassing for Rangers. Certainly, Ryan Jack's effort in the second half was uh, memorable. Had that gone in, well, it would have been nothing more than consolation for Rangers. But let me know what you think now. Celtic unbeaten in eighteen league fixtures, and they won the first derby since twenty nineteen after a seven game winless run in the fixture Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport